Fencing is a unique combative sport based on sword fighting. It is one of five sports that has been a permanent fixture at the Olympic Games since the first modern games were held in 1896. Now, over a century later, and Kenya could have fencers participating in the Tokyo 2021 Games for the first time ever. Mukami Wambora spent time with the fencing community in Kenya and tells us more. Fencing is an Olympic sport that pits two sword wielding competitors against one another in a contest of skill and athleticism. Each fencer attempts to touch the other with the tip of his sword to score touches or points. The sport originated with the dueling of wealthy and privileged upper classes in Europe. But here in Kenya, rather ironically, one of the richest sports is played in one of the poorest slums. So how did these young Kenyans discover the sport? I was a dancer uh, at a center in Chiamaiko. So one day a coach approached us and told us that he wanted guys to join in the fencing so that the fencing can be affiliated. Interestingly, fencing is a sport that was following the COVID-19 safety guidelines long before the pandemic even began. To play, one needs a mask, gloves, and the, every sword is at least one meter long, meaning even when you're fighting your opponent, you are still maintaining social distancing. Most Thursday mornings, you will find the Ngei Hall in Huruma filled with eager budding fences, training and hoping to horn their skills. But lack of equipment makes training difficult. The equipment itself is quite expensive. The beginner gear consisting of the jacket, mask, glove, underarm protector and weapon used in most introductory classes can set you back 15,000 Kenya shillings. Everything is imported. So you find my big challenge is there. I have the people, but you find, you can see the, the, at the back, those are uniforms, they, are, they need their you know, own uniforms. And if you see where they're coming from, you know they cannot afford. Despite the challenges, the Kenya Fencing Federation has been able to train six athletes that will take part in the African Tokyo Olympic qualifiers. Kenya's best shot at Olympic glory lie with Mburu Farouk Wanyoike and Ashley Wangare. Both are passionate about the sport. The fun about fencing, the movement and the mask, the outfit, everything about fencing. <laughs> I decided let me join fencing because it ain't that popular in Kenya and first of all it's unique. So I decided let me chip in into fencing because I believed that fencing was going to give me opportunities that I never had. True to his beliefs, the sport has opened up doors and dreams for both Ashley and Farouk. I've been given a scholarship to go to South Africa. I and Farouk, we are going to do coaching. With the 2020 Olympic qualifiers postponed to 2021, for Farouk, Ashley and four others, the wait is on for the announcement from the International Fencing Federation for the new Olympic qualifying schedule. Mukami Wombora for Citizen TV.